Someone is simply mistaken. Um, but I was now, now of course that would be um, on his part. That would be well. I, I haven't seen the argument for the point nine eight, but that would be some sort. Of, well, that wouldn't be the sort of that would be the sort of argument that I think is the kind of argument that's that scientists working in the natural sciences are actually making. Uh, it would be, if there is any warrant to be gained from, from Swinburne's argument here, then, it seemed, then that would qualify in my, uh, in my setup as extra scientific uh, warrant. Then I then I should think well this is this is the kind of argument this is the kind of argument that um, that natural scientists tend to feel very uncomfortable about they 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 tend to think well this is not this is not not not, not the business that we are supposed to do um, and if if you and and I was more or less granting them that. And I was I was thinking, well, sure, uh, if they think that's not natural science, that's not the sort of thing we were, we were supposed to, to say or think about. Well, then then I then my point was right. Then we should say there is a limit to science that it can't give these uh, these personal or these intentional uh, explanations of uh, the apparent fine tuning. Of the uh, the cosmological constants, uh, well, simply then stop calling it physics, but call it something else, or don't call it, simply don't call it natural sciences or natural science, but call it something else. And for that other project, there might be very good, uh, or that, that these other arguments might provide interesting kind of warrant, uh, but it wouldn't qualify as scientific warrant. But that's not so bad, because there are very many other things uh, that we believe and know and that are such that the world condition for it isn't uh, satisfied by anything scientific. That was my idea. I'm sort of a follow-up to my <coughs> earlier questions. And so we were at the point where you said there's a, very briefly put, right? 
a very big step from some scientific claim like chance and so on, right, to there's no meaning in life. Right? Do you think that there's a significantly smaller step from God exists to so my life has meaning? Especially with respect when one looks right, what scientists actually say about chance, right? It looks like the step from chance to no meaning gets ever bigger, right? But then one might think when I look closely at what the dogmas say about God, right, the simplicity and, right, and the awesomeness and kind of three and one and so on, that when I, at the more I look more closely into that, the more alien sort of God gets and the step might become bigger and bigger from God to meaning to life. Do you think as a first job that that step is obviously smaller? Um. Yeah, the short answer, well, there is one shorter answer than the one I'm going to give. I, I, I want to say yes, and no is shorter. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's in, intuitively, uh, but of course, s simply saying there is a God, and then saying life is a meaningful experience or something like that, uh, well, it doesn't fall out from that either. Uh, so a lot of work needs to be done. And I can, uh, I have some sympathy with people who, who ask for further clarification of uh, the phrase, uh, phrases that involve uh, meaningful life or meaning of life. Yeah. 